everybody can you hear me ah yeah, that's wonderful the morning is really good and really really very good ah uh, yeah 14 15 years since we set up our ai uh, today is a day where we actually celebrate the use of technology in retail uh, i know we are talking of intelligence and we are talking of smart retail but for me who's basically a core retailer for me everything intelligent and smart works around a few people who are part of the ecosystem of retail and, and the first person who comes into my mind is our consumer. So I would like to probably talk about, on behalf of the consumer, saying how intelligent are we, how smart are we, and if not, can over the last two days, the next two days, become a little more smarter to go back and help our customers. So when I'm asking our customer, so what do you think about our range? There's such a large range in the store, and with technology, we've ensured every, every product is available. See, all that is good, you know, but I shop at Linking Road because I get my size when I want. And sometimes it is easy to find my size out of 100 trousers than trying to find a size out of 5,000 trousers that you have. All my intelligence and smartness comes to a zero there. So for us, intelligence, using smart retail, using intelligence, can we actually ensure that our consumers get what they want? Availability of product to me is very, very critical, whether it's a department store, a specialty store, or a hypermarket, or a supermarket. Yes, we are getting to know more about our customers, but are we also able to get to know more about our employees? The last mile service, whether it is a brick and mortar retail or an online retail, cannot be underestimated. You know, we are talking of intelligence, and somehow we believe that with all the intelligence, uh, we'll be able to serve the customers without the last mile. I find it very, very difficult. The guy who delivers the product, who waits at the door, either for a, a replacement or for a cash and delivery, is the representative of the brand. Have we actually looked at that gentleman or lady? Have we understood her? All our intelligence, all the smartness that we're developing is all towards understanding consumer. We want to understand consumer, how she snores during the sleep so that we can get a snore device for her. But can we also spend energy to say, how does an employee look at the company? How does an employee connect with the consumer? What is it that we can do with the employee to help him get, give a better service? To me, that is irreplaceable. So I would love to see a lot of technology being used to understand our employees, help them grow. For example, I was with a, <coughs> with a set of retailers, and we were trying to understand who is the best employee in a retail store? Who is the person who delivers the highest sale? Who is the person who gets a 10 on 10 rating on service? Eventually, we had to go back and use the so-called human intelligence, talk to supervisor, talk to store manager, and find out what do you think about the best employee in the store? And we got to know about the employee, and we realized it is not his education, it is not his qualification, it is not his skills, but it is attitude. And we said, how did he develop this attitude? Uh, the attrition rate in retail is close to about 75, 85%. So he has learned everything from his parents. And we said, how many times as organizations have we interacted with our parents? Literally zero to 5%. Not even 5% of organizations ever interact with the parents of our employees, especially the front-end associates who are the last mile. So is there a way we can develop intelligence and feed into our system so that we know exactly what we can do with our employees to serve the customer? The other part of our ecosystem is our stakeholders, the suppliers, the vendors, the technology providers, the real estate providers, the hardware suppliers, the software suppliers. Again, when we go back and look at it, we are dealing with each one of them as a one-on-one. -on -one. Very rarely do we have a situation or a system where we actually set all of them together and say, hey, six of you with us, the seven of us actually serve our customer, can we sit together and find a solution for our customer? In most of the cases, and pardon me, I'm a novice on the technology side, I'm talking to you purely on behalf of the customers, each time we negotiate one element with one supplier, either for his WhatsApp, or for his application or his technology, and try to integrate into our system. So we have seven systems getting integrated into our system, but why can't this be one system consisting of eight players? because that's where probably the synergy will come to address our customer's need. So I do appreciate the intelligence. I love the intelligence which is coming into the business. 
but I think we need to be cognizant of what's happening around us. So for example, yesterday we were talking about POS, okay, and today morning I met a gentleman called Eric here, and he said we are actually introducing POS in our country. He's from Taiwan. I said, yeah, uh, well, you can look for any of the retail groups who will probably buy 20,000 POS machines or 10,000 or 5,000 or 500, but suddenly today morning, Paytm announces that they're going to introduce their own POS. Three million retail outlets, he'll go and hit POS. So either you chase one brick and mortar retailer or somebody trying to sell 500 machines, somebody's talking of a three million machines. So there are a lot of things that are happening around us, which is very, very interesting. And I think we'll have to use our intelligence and smartness to develop this whole ecosystem. RAI, as an organization, was set 15 years back to really help us build this whole ecosystem, whether we do the Retail Leadership Summit or we do the Reticon, or we do the HR conference, the whole idea is can we bring every stakeholder across the industry onto one platform and together can we serve our consumers and by serving the consumers can we do better for our nation. I think that's the whole objective and, and the drive behind RAI. So once again, thank you very much for being here. I did look forward to the next one and a half days where I think together we'll find a better solution for our customers. We'll probably find a better solution for employees who can serve the customers better and together with all our partners and stakeholders, probably will build retail into a better industry than what it is today. Uh, with the help of technology, with the help of intelligence, and hopefully we'll be smarter the after tomorrow. I wish somebody had a measure that when we enter, they tell us, you are six on 10 on smartness, and when they go off to tomorrow afternoon, we say you are 6.5 on 10 or nine on 10, and we clap for ourselves and thank RAI. All the best, thank you very much, thank you.